Hello, my lovely Virgo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, any of you lovely folks dealing with a Virgo romantically. This is a timeless reading, Virgo. So whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. Definitely keep in mind though, it is a general reading, so it's totally possible. Some of it resonates, some of it doesn't. Maybe all of it does, maybe none of it does today. That's totally okay. You guys just take what works for you and let go of anything that really doesn't fit for you in your circumstance. Is. Now, if you are brand new to my channel, if you clicked into my video today and stumbled upon my channel here, thank you for doing so. This is a very, very special channel because it is a very Virgo channel, which means that all that I do here is readings for the sign of Virgo. So if you are a Virgo or if you're dealing with a Virgo in your love life, you have come to the right place. Feel free to stick around, say hello in the comments, and really just join this amazing community that we've been building on YouTube. Now, if you're returning to my channel, you know I love you guys so much, and I just hope you're doing absolutely fabulous, Virgo. So we're gonna jump in today. I'm gonna be using the Mystic Monday Tarot. And what I'm gonna do for the reading is a past energy, current energy, and future energy spread for you. So we're gonna pull three cards for each, and I am gonna get into it a bit deeper. We're gonna clarify, and we're gonna see what's going on. So I'm gonna start by pulling a bunch of cards, and then we're gonna get into the messages. So please tell me what was going on for Virgo in the recent past when it comes to love. What do we got for Virgo? Okay, so first card out, High Priestess. What else? Recent past for Virgo, please. Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay. Recent past, what have we got for Virgo, please? And then the Four of Swords, okay. So in the current energy, what have we got here? Current energy for Virgo, Four of Cups. What else? Current energy for Virgo, please, what do we got? Three of Pentacles, okay. I'm just making sure I hold up the cards so that you guys can see them here, Virgo. Uh, what else in the current energy? Nine of Wands, okay. Near future for Virgo, what do we got? We're gonna clarify all this in a moment, you guys. I just wanna get the base cards down. So in the near future, we've got the Lovers. Beautiful. What else? Ooh, King of Swords. There's that air energy again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Lovers is also Gemini energy, okay? What else? And the Three of Swords. So let's get into this and let's start to clarify. Now, in the recent past here, Virgo, we have got the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So what I see here in the recent past is a possible connection with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Now, it does look like within that connection, there may have been a break between the two of you because of that Four of Swords energy. You may have been on a break, maybe you guys broke up. There could have been a lot of conversations happening about the future of your relationship. Now, with that high priestess energy, you may have found that your intuition was really kind of pulling you in a certain direction involving that situation. Your intuition may have been kind of going off and saying, you know, you should do this or you should pay attention to that. So let's actually clarify a little bit more. The high priestess I feel can sometimes show up in a love reading as well when we feel that we have a connection with somebody who's part of our soul family. So you may have felt a strong connection between you and this person, but I do also see the energy of potentially needing some time and space away from each other. Tell me about this high priestess, please, in the recent past for Virgo. Oh, okay, what is that? So we did have the queen of cups jumping out. Uh, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm gonna say there was definitely love here between you and this person. The magician, that's beautiful. So the two of you were working on manifesting something together here, maybe creating a life together. That's what's coming to mind, creating a life. What else? Ooh, but it looks like the challenge here may have been that there was something that caused pain within the relationship. Now the 10 of swords does tend to show up in a reading Virgo when there's been some sort of backstabbing or betrayal. And you can literally see that there in the imagery of the cards. And so what I think was happening in the recent past here is that you were moving forward in a connection with somebody and it looks like the two of you were trying to forget some sort of tough situation, some sort of challenge that you had experienced. There could have been a betrayal within the relationship. There could have been something that led to broken trust between the two of you. It does look like the two of you were attempting to repair that. And I think the reason that you were trying to repair this is because you had had a lot of conversations about the future. You had had a lot of conversations about building a life together. There was a lot of talking here about your dreams, your goals, your desires. And so I'm feeling like 
there was love, first of all, with that Queen of Cups. And then there was also this level of investment towards what the two of you were building together in this connection. And when you have that level of investment and when you have that emotional connection, if something happens to cause pain within the relationship, you have a fight, you have conflict, you have betrayal, I think what happens is there is that desire to see if you can make things work. So we got the Knight of Swords. I kind of feel like this is you and your person trying to talk through whatever this issue was here in the recent past, okay? Having conversations. I'm looking here and the Knight of Swords is somebody who really feels quite focused. And so it's almost as if the two of you were trying to really just hone in on this specific issue, trying to deal with this issue, having conversations and trying to move forward, okay? So let's actually clarify this Knight of Swords for Virgo, please. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Ooh, the devil, yeah. Something toxic happened here within this connection, you guys, okay? Tell me more. Now, the devil energy can be bad habits. Maybe you or your person had a bad habit. It could also be, you know, heavier stuff like controlling behavior. Maybe there were some jealousy issues that were popping up. Uh, the devil energy can also be somebody who's a little bit flighty. So they may be super into you one day, but then they become a little bit emotionally distant and you end up with this push and pull dynamic where in some moments it feels really, really good and it feels like the two of you are on track. But then in other moments, you feel like this person is emotionally distant. And so I think there were some challenges here in that respect. What else? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. And then the fool. So the two of you trying to figure out can we move forward? Can we have a fresh start? Can we move past whatever this unhealthy or toxic situation was? And then the judgment. Yeah, it just feels like there was a lot of conversations here, Virgo, about, um, you know, your higher purpose. What do each of you want? Do you still want the same things? This is big energy clarifying the Knight of Swords. The Devil, the Fool, and the Judgment card is really big major arcana energy. And whenever I see a lot of major arcana, it speaks to big energetic shifts. And so the two of you were trying to figure out, is it worth fighting for this relationship? Is it worth trying to fix this? And a big question with that judgment card was, do we still want the same things? Do we still have that alignment in terms of like our higher purpose and our goals? So is it worth it to work through it? I could see you guys potentially grappling with that issue. I wanna clarify this four of swords here. Okay, five of cups, yeah. So obviously what was happening between the two of you here was very disappointing to you and your person. And the two of you needed some time and space here to come to terms with that disappointment and be able to think about what you wanted to do. Essentially what happened here is that whatever this disappointing situation was, whatever this betrayal was, this toxic energy, it introduced doubt into the relationship. And so what was once a very happy and I think stable relationship, all of a sudden felt unstable and it created this uncertainty within the connection about whether or not the two of you actually wanted to move forward together. So you may have said to your person, I need a bit of a break, I need some time to clear my head. They may have said that to you, you guys may have mutually agreed to do that, but it, I'm just getting that this relationship was so stable until this happened. And then the reason that the two of you were trying to figure this out is because I, I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling this intuitively, Virgo, but I feel like this was the first time the two of you had experienced something really heavy like this and some sort of big betrayal. And so it was confusing because first of all, it wasn't in line with the rest of the relationship. It's like things were great. And then all of a sudden one day they weren't. And then the two of you were trying to come to terms with, okay, well, where does that leave us within this connection? Okay, tower energy as well, clarifying the four of swords. So big, uh, big, heavy energy, big emotions here in the recent past. If you're connecting with this today, Virgo, there was a tower moment. Um, it, it looks like, I wouldn't be surprised if it ended, right? Because there was the disappointment with the five of cups, it led to confusion. And then I feel like that confusion, then it led to a tower moment within this relationship where everything came crashing down. And so the two of you may have broken up or at least taken a significant break here in the recent past because of whatever this 10 of swords and this devil energy was. So let's see what's going on in the current energy for you, Virgo. We've got the four of cups, the three of pentacles and the nine of wands. The four of cups is an energy of like, withdrawing from something, not being open to having a conversation, pulling back your energy from something that's no longer good for you. Three of Pentacles tends to indicate wanting to work through an issue. So I'm feeling like 
I don't know, maybe either you or your person went to the other one and was like, I know we've been in this separation, but I'm now wondering if maybe we could try to work this out. And then the nine of wands to me is the energy of feeling like you or your person still wanna fight for this. So this is what's going on right now for you, Virgo. So let's clarify that four of cups. I'm definitely getting the energy, don't give up on us. Your person could be saying that to you. You could be saying it to them, Virgo. Tell me about this four of cups. Huh, okay. Three of cups, maybe the issue here, maybe the betrayal, Maybe that devil energy was a third party. Your person could have cheated. You could have cheated. Take it as it connects, right? The energy can be interchangeable here. But I think that a third party introduced betrayal into your relationship. Queen of Pentacles, this is your energy, by the way, Virgo. Could also be that you're dealing with a fellow Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I think that whatever this third party situation was, it was a key factor to introduce this instability within the connection between the two of you what else and then the page of pentacles but somebody is very strongly coming through with a peace offering here in the current energy and so in the recent past like i said stuff went down there was a tower moment the two of you were broken up potentially on a break right now but what i'm feeling is somebody who's very strongly still wanting to work on this and wanting to make amends and like i said virgo this could be you this could be your person but it does look like in the current energy, there is an attempt here to like come together, have a conversation. I always kind of feel like the Page of Pentacles can represent that peace offering kind of energy. Somebody saying they're sorry, somebody wanting to apologize. Now let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. I often see this card show up in a love rating when there could be counseling involved. So you or your person might be going to the other one and saying like, okay, well, if we want to try and work through this, we're going to have to figure out how to solve this betrayal issue that we've had within our relationship. You might be suggesting counseling. Your person might be suggesting counseling. Now, what could happen is you guys could be going to counseling individually, but it's also possible that you're going to couples counseling. Tell me about this three of pentacles here. King of wands. Okay. Fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is about seeing if you can bring the passion back into the relationship. And I do feel at least one of you is feeling passionate about trying to repair this, okay? But the challenge here is, should we try to repair this or should we just let it be done? Those are the conversations that I think the two of you are having in the current energy that I see here for you, Virgo. The death card is about an ending. So it could be that you're saying, you know what, let's just, let's just really end things and let it be done. Or it could be, let's leave the past in the past and move forward. But there is this energy of like, I don't know if it's worth fighting for this. It might be one of you wants to fight for it and the other one is not totally sure if they want to. Yeah. Okay, two of wands. That's actually literally what I just said here, Virgo. So it's like one person saying, I don't know if I want to fight for this anymore. I don't know if I have the energy. I don't know if I have the motivation. Tell me about this nine of wands, please. Page of wands. Okay, more fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What else here? Seven of wands. Again, here's what I think is going on. Hold on. Let me pull one more card, you guys. <laughs> and then I'll tell you. Yeah, king of pentacles. I think there's a push and pull energy here happening in the current situation, Virgo. I feel like one person is very strongly coming in and saying, I don't wanna give up on this. I don't wanna let this go. Uh, I still feel love for you. I still feel passionate about you. Can we try and fix this? But then I feel like the other person is like, well, everything kind of came crashing down. There's now this instability within our connection. I feel like all of the foundation that the two of you built together came crashing down in that tower moment. And this person is coming in with like this queen of pentacles energy, uh, king of pentacles energy being like, let's rebuild. But here we go, seven of wands. I feel like you could be resistant to that. You or your person, right? So somebody is trying to fix things. And in the current energy, the other person is just really resistant. Now, I do think you're having these conversations. I do think there's an openness to having these conversations, but I don't think they're easy conversations because it's not about just jumping back in and getting back together. It's almost like this energy of the two of you trying to negotiate around this connection and figure out, is there something salvageable here? Okay. Now in the near future, we have got the lovers, the king of swords and the three of swords. Like I said, this is all air energy here. There is a choice or decision to be made in the near future. That's what the Gemini um, lover's energy represents, okay? 
Now we do have the King of Swords. I think that's positive because King of Swords tends to be somebody who is very clear headed. They know what they want. So I do see you getting clarity around this situation in the near future. There is something heartbreaking there as well, though. So we're going to have to clarify to find out what it is. So let's see here. Tell me what this lover's energy is in the near future. There's still a lot of anxiety. OK, that's the issue. And I actually see this a lot when there's a betrayal within a relationship, because a betrayal tends to lead to broken trust and then it creates anxiety and doubt within the connection. And the nine of swords is an energy of being really anxious and overthinking something. And so I think that when it comes to this person, let's say that they are the one who betrayed you, Virgo, there really is this like very anxious energy where you're like, I, I just, as much as I might still love that person, I have a lot of anxiety and distrust around whether or not I can really, I don't know, trust this person again. Tell me more about this lovers, the six of pentacles. Yeah, it's like this back and forth of figuring out, can we bring this back into balance? The Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity. I'm, again, I'm kind of intuitively feeling like one of you is the one who's kind of pushing for the reconciliation and the other person is resistant. So connect with that as you will. But I do think there's a little bit of an imbalance. Like one person is really motivated to try to fix this and then the other person is really not feeling sure. Tell me more. And then the moon. Okay. Yeah. It's trust issues. That's all I can really say here, Virgo. It's like, even if the two of you are trying to move forward, there's this sense of something that is still hidden. Now, this could be things that have been left unsaid between the two of you, or it could just be a lingering sense of distrust. Like, can I really trust that you're telling me the whole story? Can I really trust you moving forward? There's this fear here that there is still something that is hidden below the surface. And I think that's the main factor that's preventing um, you or your person from being willing to move forward because it's this energy of like, what am I not seeing? And it becomes challenging because if you're choosing to stay with this person, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be hard for you, Virgo, if you're constantly wondering, is there more to the story? Is there something they're not telling me? Is there something they're hiding? And it creates this anxiety and stress within the relationship. And so it almost feels like whatever happened here is maybe not something that the two of you can recover from. Let's clarify the King of Swords here. Six of Wands. Okay, so regardless of what is going on here, there is this positive energy of finding a solution to this problem. So even though you've been dealing with this in the recent past and in the current energy, Virgo, I do see you finally making a decision about how you want to move forward with this in the near future. Wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords clarifying the King of Swords. You're definitely getting clarity. So I think in the recent past and in the current energy, you're still kind of a bit confused. You're still trying to figure out what you want to do. I feel like there's going to be this really clear answer that comes to you in the near future, Virgo, about what you want to do. You're going to be able to see the situation clearly. And I feel like you're going to finally know what you want to do. What is the decision you want to make? Do you want to work on this relationship or not? Okay. And then the nine of cups. And I feel like one of the big things that you're getting clarity about is do you see a future, right? Because the Nine of Cups to me is about our dreams coming true, dreaming of the future, the life that we're building together. And in the recent past, I talked about that. I talked about how it felt like the two of you had spent a lot of time building a life together. And now I think you're reassessing that plan in light of the information that you now have and in light of what has happened. And so what you're what I see you doing here in the near future, Virgo, is asking yourself, do I still see that future? When I dream of the future, when I see myself a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, do I see myself with this person? Do I see us repairing what has happened or do I not? I think that's the question you're going to be asking. Now, it's interesting because we do have the three of swords in the near future. Three of swords does tend to indicate heartbreak. It could be that you're breaking things off with this person in the near future because you are not able to move past the past. But let's see what the clarification is. The Empress. OK, tell me more about this three of swords, seven of pentacles. Let's see. Let's see. And the chariot card. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like you end things with this person in the near future. And essentially what it does is it frees you up 
and it allows you to move forward. Because I think that this situation for you, Virgo, has been really dragging on your energy and pulling you down. And once you're able to disconnect from the heaviness of this, you're finally gonna be able to move forward in your life again. And so there's definitely a sense of relief coming through. I do wanna clarify the Seven of Pentacles here. Tell me what the Seven of Pentacles is. Five of Swords, yeah, I think you're disconnecting from this, Virgo. Uh, the Temperance, what else? and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I think it's over, you guys. Um, I just wanted to clarify the Seven of Pentacles because the Seven of Pentacles is about where we choose to invest our time. And I was like, okay, so what clarifies the investment here? Five of Swords, the Temperance, and the Seven of Swords. I kind of think that what's happening here in the near future is you're realizing you can't fix this. This is a situation where even if you're more patient, if you give it more time, I don't think the trust is coming back because we got the seven of swords, which is the thief of the tarot. And we got the five of swords, which is like conflict and challenge. And so I see you withdrawing from this connection because you don't feel you can trust this person moving forward, you know, and you can see it here. Hold on. I'm going to hold it up for you guys. Can you see here how this person is hiding something behind their back? Okay. That's the seven of swords. Can you see that there, Virgo? I think the big issue here is that you're, you're always just going to feel like this person is hiding something. You're always gonna feel like you can't trust this person. And even if they don't do anything wrong, if you're anticipating it, the trust is gone. And so I see you actually just ending things in the near future. And I feel you're gonna have a tremendous sense of relief because this has been a heavy situation that's been weighing on your mind. As sad as it is to end things, I kind of feel like you've now been processing this for a while and it looks like you're realizing, you know, if I can't trust this person, then what do we have? So you could end up actually disconnecting from this energy, which it does feel sad because I do think you had a lot of hopes and dreams for the future. But in the, in the near future energy, I feel like you're at peace with this decision. I really do, Virgo, because you've had time to think about this. You've been dealing with it. And so even though it's sad, I do think you have that clarity with that King of Swords and the Queen of Swords about what you want to do here. And you can make that decision to move forward. And when you make that decision, I think you're going to feel a sense of relief here. Okay. I think it comes down to trust. Can you trust this person or not? And that's going to be the deciding factor of what you do. All right, guys. So that's what I see here for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.